At the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Boston, they've managed to do, or rather see, something remarkable. They've captured on camera something that's all around us, yet has never been filmed before, because it's the fastest thing in the entire universe. Nothing travels faster than light. That's about 299 million meters per second. Or to put that in context, the distance from the Earth to the Moon in a little over a second. Professor Ramesh Raskar is a world leader in the emerging field of computational photography. Ramesh? Hi, I'm Alok. Oh, look. Nice you? to meet you. See He's you? built a camera that can slow down light to a virtual standstill. What we're seeing here, traveling through the bottle, is a burst of photons moving at the speed of light, something never captured on film before. I mean, just to see how light travels and moves around in a scene is, is mind-blowing. You can see that with your naked eye. How fast does your camera have to be to get this image? Compared to a, a normal camera, this one has to have an exposure time that's one billion times shorter. When you take a picture with a very short exposure time, as you know, the picture looks very, very dark. So we actually have to take this picture many times and computationally add these frames together. Ramesh's camera is the fastest ever built. It can take an image every two picoseconds or two trillionths of a second. If you had a bullet going this distance, how long would it take to get across? The light is traveling about a foot of this bottle, but a bullet travels a million times slower than, than light. So it will take a bullet about a year. One year? To, to cross through the screen if we really play a movie at the rate at which we are playing. It will be a very boring movie. It will be a very boring movie. Yes. yes. Ramesh hopes that by seeing the world in ultra slow motion, we'll learn new things about how light moves and propagates around us. But the camera has another unique property. With a bit of clever computing, it can see around corners. This is how it works. Imagine you're standing at this camera lens here and you want to see this guy behind the corner. Now, there's a very easy way of doing this. You just put a mirror at that screen. Unfortunately, that isn't a mirror. But this guy is reflecting light onto that screen and into this lens. A normal camera wouldn't be able to pick up the scattered light reflecting off the figure, onto the wall and into the lens. But what a mesh's camera can do with a bit of computer trickery is to take that scattered light and turn it into an image of the guy. The resulting 3D image, considering it was taken around a corner with no direct line of sight, is remarkable. <laughs> 